from the PLC University, another short presentation. What is a PLC? This is the fourth in the Factory Rat series, and we're going to talk about sinking and sourcing. One of the simplest and yet most often misunderstood terminologies in this business is the concept of sinking and sourcing. First, sinking and sourcing only applies to DC circuits and is of no concern with AC inputs and outputs. Every DC circuit has a minimum of these four basic elements. The positive source of voltage, the negative common or sink side of the voltage, a load, which is the object of the DC power supply, and a means to control the load, such as a switch. Now we've assembled these four elements into a circuit. We have the high side of the supply, or the positive side. We have a load. We have a switch to control, energize, de-energize of the load, and then we have the sink or low side of the power supply. Pure and simple, of the two devices, the load and the switch, the closest device to the source or positive side of the power supply is sourcing, and the device closest to the sink or negative side of the supply is sinking. If you swap the control switch and the load positions in this circuit, the switch is now sourcing, and the load is sinking. It's that simple. Whichever of the two, the control or the load, whichever the two is closest to the source is the source, whichever is closest to ground or the sink is the sink. Sourcing, sinking. You're probably looking at this comparison here and wondering what the big deal is and why it even matters. Remember that the control device in this illustration is a dry switch contact, not a solid state device such as a transistor. So in this case, that switch, same switch, can be used in either position as a sourcing input device or a sinking input. Now, let's look at an actual input circuit. First thing to point out is that the sensor has an open collector and PN interface to the input circuit of the input module. So you could say the output of the sensor is open collector. Therefore, it has to be sinking. It has to be on the low side of the circuit. The input circuit of this module is the load and the sensor is the switch. V sub CC, or the positive side of the supply, and ground, the negative side of the supply, or sink. Between the input circuit of the input module and the sensor, which would you say is sourcing? Which is closer to the source? Not a trick question, just an easy question. That is correct. The input circuit of the module. Now, which then is closest to the sink? That's too easy because there's only one left, right? Yes, the sensor. In this circuit, we have a sourcing input module that requires a sinking sensor or an NPN sensor. In this circuit, the sensor and the input circuit have been, have been swapped around in their relationship with the source and the sink. Again, which of the two is closest to the source? You got it. Pretty simple, huh? And of course, what is left to be the sinking device? Yep, the input circuit of the input module. It is important to point out here that I have used a universal input module that will accept either sinking NPN sensors or sourcing PNP sensors. However, here's the fly in the ointment of this whole sourcing sinking discussion. Every circuit has a sink and a source. When you are identifying the input module, do you identify it by where its circuit fits in the DC circuit or by what type of a sensor that you apply to it. Is it a sinking module because its, its input circuit sinks the sensor or do you call it a sourcing module because it requires a sourcing sensor? To be sure, with different manufacturers, you need to look at the wiring diagrams in the manual that come with the modules to make sure before you actually connect sensors. And that is sinking and sourcing.